Okay, um, good evening, good afternoon to uh, all of our amazing wellness advocates in Europe. Um, thank you, firstly, guys, for taking the time to be with us today. And welcome as well to our first doTERRA Social Europe webinar. Really excited to go through some of the exciting features and tips that we'd like to share with you today um, to hopefully allow you to make the most of the platform um, if you have signed up already. And if you haven't, also to give you great insight into the features and benefits that the platform can provide. Now, uh, many of you may already be aware of the platform. Um, it's been available globally for some time. However, um, we have around 3,000 existing wellness advocates that have been uh, using the platform that have been from Europe. And the feedback that we have received is that they really couldn't get the most out of the platform because it didn't contain Europe content. So over the last 12 months, uh, our team have been working really hard to populate the platform. And we are delighted that this week we were able to launch a section that has Europe specific content for you to allow you to schedule, post, um, post ideas, different tips on how to make the most of your social media, personal platforms. Um, and we're really excited, hopefully, for you to see today how you can get more out of the content that we've already provided in the platform for you. Um, and to do this, I'd firstly like to introduce our creative content specialist for Europe, Inej Amaral. Inej will just go through some details with you on the monthly promotion content and things of that nature that we'd like to make available to you to maximize every month. And then after Inej, we will then hand over to uh, the company that helped us realize the Europe content for Deterra Social, Promo Republic and Raquel Sims. Um, but firstly, over to you, Inej. Hi, everyone, and welcome to this webinar. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, we are really excited to launch Deterra Social in Europe. And I just wanted to tell you a bit why we are doing this and the content that we have prepared and are going to keep preparing every month for you. So in the platform, uh, you're going to find uh, hundreds, thousands of assets of pictures of imagery uh, with our products, um, PNG images without backgrounds um, that will really allow you to create your own posts, create your own content, um, and just uh, have all in one place. So you, you save time. Um, you also have a lot of ideas. So we have folders uh, that highlight products, that have recipes, DIYs, um, and just uh, materials that you can use to share uh, how great our essential oil are. Um, uh, Raquel is also going to talk to you about how you can um, use these tools and edit them and uh, just really make them your own. And every month, we are going to prepare a 30-month content calendar which uh, has, which is seasonal, which um, is directed to the promotions that we have every month. So in October, uh, as you probably know by now, uh, the product of the month is rosemary. Uh, we have an amazing enrollment promotion. So we'll, you will have assets there um, that are already, um, that are ready actually uh, to go live for you to post. Um, related to the promotions. Uh, whenever there's bogos coming or seasonal items, you will have the assets there. So it's really a uh, one stop uh, place for you to create content for your social media. And because we know we have people from all over Europe, um, the content uh, will, you'll find a lot of editable templates. And uh, these templates will allow you to input uh, uh, your own language, your translations, and adapt them to your own markets. Um, so very quickly, this is an overview uh, of what we are doing. And now I will pass on to Raquel, uh, who is going to explain more about uh, the platform. And we've been working with her for many months to make this happen. So thank you so much, Raquel. Um, and over to you. And thank you all. Yeah, thank you, Alex and Inas. Can you hear me? Yes, uh, we can. 
Perfect. Hello, everyone. I'm very excited to be here today. Um, as Alex and Ines mentioned, we've been working together very closely to get to this point of launching finally to the European market. So today, the, we're going to walk through a few important pieces of why social media is important in your day to day, um, what that looks like in the landscape of the European social media uh, landscape. Um, how to sell on social media, and more importantly, the ins and outs of doTERRA social, how to change the languages, how to make sure it's working for you and your European market. So we'll dive into all of that. Before I dive in, I did want to direct um, anyone who has questions or comments to the question and answer box. We have our uh, support team on standby, so they're ready to answer any and all of your questions. And as you probably know, this is also being translated live. So this is a really exciting uh, webinar. I'm gonna do my best to speak slowly um, because I do speak quite quickly, but I'm very excited. So with that, let's dive in. So speaking of social media, which is essentially why we're here in the first place, it's really important to understand what this means to your business as a wellness advocate, as in any, scope of business, social media is now more important than it ever was, given the events that we went through last year. As it highlights here, over 4.48 billion people are using social media, and that's over half of the global population. So that means if you're not on social media in some capacity, others are, and you're leaving your potential market on the table. So on the right hand side of the screen, it highlights a few key stats of what the social media landscape is now. 67% um, of internet users are likely to buy from brands that they follow on social. And that's because you're learning about the products, you're seeing it in your feed and you're engaging with it constantly. So it's really important that not only are big brands and companies following this social media methodology, but also you as an independent distributor, because this is your personal brand. This is why people are choosing to follow you and your journey with doTERRA. So it's always really interesting to highlight a few of these um, statistics. But looking towards Europe, this shows um, what the top social networks are all across Europe and the main channels for each and every country. And we did highlight the top five countries with social media usage. And what's really interesting is that social media in general has a really high saturation rate in Europe. You can see that across every single country here and the major countries within the European market as well, like the UK, like Germany, Facebook and Instagram are the top two. So this is where your largest pool of audience is. So that's why it's really important to think of how am I going to keep relevant by posting consistently on social media and why I'm doing that in the first place. So we take a look at what personal branding is because this has really emerged as the perfect way to establish credibility and authority and your voice on a digital landscape. Now more than ever, people are realizing that branding is no longer restricted to, let's say, the influencers, the celebrities, and even businesses. This has really shifted to the personal level on social media. Every individual has a voice and a story which they are sharing. And whether they're associated with a, a business or not, you can really work towards developing a really strong personal brand and image to keep people engaged. And that keeps them coming back to your social media feed time and time again. But what a lot of people don't understand is that personal branding is not only about creating and following marketing strategies, but it's really more about knowing who you are, what you're doing, and what your audience is following you for, um, which ultimately leads them to trusting you and buying. So people are making the purchasing decision overall um, online, especially given, again, the past year that we faced, the digitization that happened in March of 2020 was rapid and every single industry changed overnight. People are not, you know, going to buy some kind of bundle of features that may or may not improve their life. What they're really after is the value and what they're going to get from it and what that adds to their life. So it's that reason why they follow you. And that's really how social media, as you can see by this funnel, enhances 
that overall um, landscape because your social media presence just by posting regularly makes them aware. You're sharing really important educational pieces like the really interesting facts about the oils, your favorite recipes, people are liking it. And the more they see it and understand your story and what you love about it, that's what's gonna lead them through the funnel. So this is really important to think of the, what the goal of social media is and your personal brands. Um, and you can see this uh, numerous benefits, not only again for the big brands, but for independent uh, representatives as well. The more active you are, the more successful you will be overall. And you can see this with an increase in sales opportunities and a really great um, portfolio that you can build directly from here. So it's really important, as you can see, I've highlighted time and time again, to be active on social and to have your voice out there. But some of you may wonder, you know, maybe you're new to social or maybe you're a pro, but sometimes it can be quite manual. And as Alex and Ines highlighted, you may not know where to get really great content or how to spend 20 minutes instead of two hours on social. So this is really where doTERRA social comes into place because all of your daily tasks and checklists that you can do are now you know, bundled into maybe the front end of the week. You're spending one day and a couple hours of that day dedicated to social as opposed to checking every single day because doTERRA, doTERRA social is here to really help grow the business through an untapped resource of content that's constantly refreshed month over month. You have a built-in scheduling feature. So we have some diamond wellness advocates that are scheduling six months in advance evergreen content. And then they add in that monthly promotions or the BOGOs or whatever events that are coming up um, into the platform. Then analytics. This is perhaps an underutilized portion of social media marketing because you're now able to see the results of social, are your posts performing well, are they not? And even the layman's breakdown of what this is. So this is a really great way for you to um, see that. And we now also made this on the go. So you have the mobile app. So again, it's the content in one place, as you can see. Then we have really incredible usage of the platform. In fact, earlier this summer, we broke this amazing milestone of 1.5 million posts published on the platform, which is a huge number. And since then, we've smashed that out of the park. So you can see wellness advocates are using this in mass to make their lives so much easier through the content scheduling, the analytics, and so on. So with that said, now I'm going to dive into the platform itself. So this is where things get really exciting so we can walk through this together. I'm going to start off with the sign up process and what that looks like. And then you'll be able to um, dive into the platform yourselves. Feel free to follow along. You can um, see what this looks like here. So where does doTERRA social live? This is social.doterra.com. You can access this directly by entering the domain. We're also on trainings.doterra.com as well. And on our landing page, all of that information, which we will share um, in the chat box afterwards. And I have a, a slide towards the end as well, which highlights this. So the first thing you'll notice is this lovely purple button here, which enables you to log into the platform. Now, the way that this is done is through your doTERRA social login. You're, you enter your doTERRA ID and password, and then you're in, and your account is automatically created for you, and your trial is set up. So that is really easy as one, two, three, just simply logging in with your existing doTERRA ID. And all wellness advocates that are new to the platform get a free two-week trial so you can test it out and see what it is all about before you make any decisions that are right for you. The next step is to connect your social media profiles to the platform themselves. So you can see we support the top six social platforms here. We have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, personal and business, and I'll highlight the difference in a moment, LinkedIn, Pinterest, and Google My Business. 
Now it's important that if you want to publish face to Facebook, we currently support Facebook groups and Facebook business pages only. And that is because of Facebook's own restrictions. As for Instagram, you'll see there are two options here. We recommend for everyone setting up an Instagram business page as early in your doTERRA journey as possible, because not only do you get enhanced features like direct posting, first comment, and I'll highlight all of those features in a moment, but you also get enhanced analytics directly through the Facebook um, Instagram API. So you get a lot more when you have an Instagram business page. If you are connecting your Instagram personal page, you must approve all content with an extra step in our doTERRA social mobile app, which I will highlight in a moment for you. The rest of the social media profiles are pretty um, easy to log in. Again, you just need your username and password and that's it. And it's important that you must be logged into the browser as you're logging in because that's how the connectivity is made. And again, this is the first step. I'm currently operating out of a demo environment for today. So everything that I'm doing is in my own little area. Um, and you'll see some social media platforms here are maybe relevant to you, maybe not, like Google My Business. If you don't have a brick and mortar location, maybe not be the most relevant. So you have the purview to pick and choose what is right for you. So I have some test pages connected. I have a Instagram business account, a Facebook business account, and two uh, Pinterest boards connected. So now let's walk through the calendar before we get into the really juicy stuff today, which is the content and all of the hard work that Ines and Alex and the entire Europe team have been doing. So within the calendar right now, you see that it is blank. You have um, the days of the week. You can click on upcoming events, which highlights national uh, register days, important days in history, pop culture, sports history, all here. And this is just to be a launching point, to be a source of inspiration for you as you're creating content. So you can see, okay, today is um, National Inner Beauty Day, and we can talk about what inner beauty means and relay that back to you know, my journey or my personal brand story. So this is really um, great here. Then we also have time slots. So time slots are your friend, especially if you're starting out your journey, because this is a little bit of AI, artificial intelligence, which highlights the best time to post based on your time zone, as well as follower activity on the specific social platform that you're posting to. And if you want them off, you can just toggle them off here. So now my time slots are on, so I can choose you know, what to post and when. And you can also rename these by turning off what we call autopilot and edit your content plan. And that's really helpful if you wanna have set categories per days of the week, almost as a reminder to you, which highlights the um, recipe on one day, a fun fact on another, a personal photo on another day. So you can set up all of those reminders here. Then you can also toggle between week and monthly view so you can see what that looks like. And again, you can publish as far into the future as you want. And we have some really great webinars on our landing page in English at this time, which highlight um, the past usage um, of scheduling six months in advance, as I said. Um, so that's great. And then if you're ever in the front and you wanna come back to the specific day and time, that is here. So as we can see, my platform is in English right now. And we know that the doTERRA social um, uh, European market is vast and has several different languages as well. So what we can do is to change that, importantly, is to go to our settings. And right here in the top side, you can see all of the languages that we support. So we have German, English, Spanish, French, Italian, Russian, and Ukrainian at this time. So if I wanted to have my platform in Spanish, simply just click that. And now we can go back into the platform and you'll see that everything is translated. So that's an important first step to um, change your uh, language here to make sure that it's the best user experience for you. So that's the first tip. So now that we have our bearings of the calendar itself, 
let's dive into the content because that's where the true value is behind this. And again, all of the hard work from the different markets. So here you can see all of the post ideas that we have. And as Ina says, there's thousands in here. So we divide this into the different markets. So you have the US and Europe, Australia and Russia as the main markets here. But obviously we're gonna focus on Europe today. So this is broken down between um, the monthly promotions that we have as well as English and German contents. At this time, the monthly posts that we're creating are in German and English. And based on demand, we will expand this to other languages. So always, if you have questions, feedback on the platform, feel free to contact us directly and we'll take your feedback to heart. And that's not even just on languages. That's if you have an idea on you know, a feature maybe you wanna see in the platform, let us know because we really take all of that to heart and into um, publication. And frankly, that's how we're even able to launch in the European market. It's because you, the wellness advocates, demanded it. So with that said, let's walk through the different categories of content here and how to utilize them. So if you see, we have monthly promotions. And this is, as Ines highlighted, we have Rosemary on display front and center here because this is the content of the month. Then you have the different languages for the content. I saw some finish there. Um, and you can see all of that here for the uh, for you to use. And it's really easy to use this. And I'm gonna show you what you do. You simply click use, and now I have a post. And now I can cite my caption here and choose my social media channels. So if I just wanna publish this to my Instagram, that's not a problem as well. And now I can click schedule and this is going to schedule, let's go for tomorrow. And now we can see this directly in the calendar. So that's literally how easy it is to take a piece of content from the library and schedule it. And you can do that for any and all content that you see within the platform. So if that's not even just the monthly promotions, but why I came back to the monthly promotions is as Ines said, it's all about customization, all about how to make the content yours, put your personal stamp on it, your personal brand, whether that's your language, your voice, your tone, your personal logo, um, all of that's here. So what you are seeing now is we're taking a blank image of just Rosemary because it is a product of the month. And now I'm gonna change the size to an Instagram post because I want it to be square. And it's really as easy as this, dragging the content um, into the center. Now I have a perfect square for Instagram. Um, and then you can come into the objects. So you can see if we scroll down, we have a lot of European stickers here. Now this is great if I ever wanted to drag anything, drag and drop in, and it simply works like this. And now we're building posts that we love. Um, additionally, what we can do is add text and you can type in anything you want, reposition it, make it uh, your story. So if you wanna highlight, you know, this is the products of the month or your favorite oil or how you're utilizing this, maybe we want some more blank space so we can add something here. You can also, you know, make this smaller. So there is that more blank space around here. It's all up to you how you want to edit the content. There's so many different possibilities on adding your personal stamp to this um, that it's really great that they not only have completed posts for you to do, but you can build your own as well. So I'm just going to use this for the sake of my demonstration. Um, you can see this here. Once you click the use, it is ready to go. So you're able to schedule this and see it directly in your calendar as well. So from here, what we do is, sorry, my internet just cut out at a very opportune time. Here we go, we're back. Now I can schedule this again to here and choose a different day because we know I have a post schedule for tomorrow. Let's go to Sunday 
And now it's directly in my calendar. So that's just some of the ways to utilize the calendar. But let's dive into the European content once more. So again, you'll have new month coming in here or new content every month coming in here based on the promotions as well. You'll have blank images to really start your post. So that's like this Rosemary example that we had where you can go from here into the graphics editor and create content. Then you have your personal care section. Again, this is the starting point for you to utilize um, and create as much content as you want. Supplements, you have diffusers, and you have the different product lines here. Now this is the exciting part, so templates. This is all editable. And what we mean by that is when you come in here, you can see I can edit the text here. I can maybe move the image around. I can change what I want about this. And this is helpful maybe if I'm taking this content and translating it to my market, or if I want to just add my, maybe have a personal logo here, the objects are here. So every month as well, we will be providing the, uh, the content for you to utilize. That plot is always being filled. And that's not only just the European market, that's how we operate with all markets that you see on the platform as well. And as mentioned, we do have German too. So you have the templates in German here, and it's that same principle. If I wanted to edit this, I'm happy to do so. If I wanted to add maybe another step on it, you can, or add your logo if you have a personal logo. And it's as easy as one, two, three. Again, what we're doing, we're taking content in the library, then we're scheduling it into our calendars. And that's how we're building out this robust calendar system. And especially if we have promotions coming on a monthly basis, um, you can do so, um, fill it up for the month. And you spend maybe that first of the month to create all of this post for you based on the hard work that Ines and the team are doing. And one really great way to utilize um, the types of content here, are not only by searching. So you can search, let's say if you wanted Europe only content, you can search here and it will pull all of the European content. Or what we can do is if we go back into the post ideas, you can also filter. So we have different types of content in here. A lot of the examples that I highlighted today are all images or templates. So we mean by that, if it is um, editable, we call that a template, uh, but there's also videos, there's GIFs, there's articles. So if you wanna post a video, not a problem, post a video. You can upload your own videos. You can share a video directly from here. We are video compatible in terms of publishing. So absolutely uh, feel free to share that. And you can see a lot of these are really great videos all about, um, you know, the citrus bloom right now. So you can absolutely schedule this um, when you have videos on that are for your market. Um, so that is all about the content in the platform. Again, we're really excited. We just launched this yesterday to have all of the content in the platform. And we're really proud of all of the hard work that Ines and the entire doTERRA Europe marketing team have done to get us to this point. Um, hours and hours of hours of work through getting the perfect images with the perfect copy in here. And you'll notice that some images do actually come with copy like this does. And this is as a guide, you can use this, you can change it, you can do your own. All of that is here for you. Um, but I know it popped in and out of the graphics editor a bit. I did want to highlight this in further detail. So you really get some um, really great insight as to what can be done here. So the first is the ability to resize your images. You can enter your own size if you want, or you can enter some of the preset sizes as well. So that would change the size of this. Then the next is if you have a picture here, like we do, you can see there's a few features that you can change the brightness, you can change the contrast, saturation of colors um, here as well as the transparency. So this is a pretty standard um, editor. And then as you get more content here, you also get layers. So you can adjust the layers of your platform 
So if we go to the left hand side, you've seen me pop in and out of this area as well. You have our sections here. So the first is an integrated photo stock library. This is a conglomerate of four different photo stocks and all fully licensed for your use. And what we mean by that is when you're publishing on social, you want to make sure that you have the rights to post on social. So that way you can um, post whatever you want. So let's say I want to create a rosemary photo uh, based on the products of the month. Really easy to do so. so. Now we're taking this. Now we have rosemary in the background. Now I can come into the objects. So again, objects, as you've seen me lightly use, is the... Um, area where you can come in here, find an oil you're looking for, and simply drag it into the platform. It's really easy and really fun to do when you're creating your own posts. So I have a picture of rosemary, now I have the rosemary oil, and you can start to build your curated piece of content just like that um, and make it more aesthetic. For the sake of time, I'm just highlighting the key features here. Um, then text. So we have, um, you know, pretty standard text box. You can edit the text. You can choose the font that you want to do to change the colors. You can enter custom colors by entering the color code. Um, you can change the size, the spacing between text, the line height. Um, so it's really quick and easy to use when having the content here. And then a really interesting um, tab here is the um, saved. So this saves all templates that you want. So let's say I really love what I made here and I wanna come back to it. That's not a problem at all. They click save and then it saves it directly here. And you can see on my left-hand um, side, I use Otero Social to edit the post for the so Terra Social Facebook group. So all of that is done in the platform as well. So it's really easy um, to save something and come back to it as you want to do. Um, and then from here, you have, you might have heard me reference quite a bit today, the uh, personal branding, adding your personal logo, whatever that looks like. So you do have this area here where you can add your, your logo. So you can see this is the Prima Republic logo, or we actually have Doterra Social right here. Um, so you can add this to anything. So let's pretend this was a logo. You can upload this so you can always easily drag and drop in to the platform. So that's a little bit about the in-depth graphics editor. And the way to do it, you can create your post. You can click, as you saw, edit on the post. You can go directly into the editor itself. And from here as well in this post editor window, you can go back to the library if we wanna add more than one image per post, so to speak. Or if I wanna add a video, you can upload your own or you can create from scratch, which also brings you to the editor. So there's a lot of ways that you can highlight the different doTERRA content. And then scheduling. Let's briefly walk through the scheduling aspects. You have schedule, which schedules for a specific date and time of your choosing. You can choose whether this repeats or not. Then you have publish now, which publishes it immediately upon clicking this. You have add to time slots, which adds this to the next available time slot in your calendar. So this goes back to um, what we we're talking about before here with the time slots. And, all of that. So then from here, you can click this as well so you can see the content that we created. Hey, Raquel. Um, yeah? Hey, would you mind ch changing the navigation back to English if that's okay? Of course. Sorry about that, everybody. Great, thank you. All right, we are back. Um, so within the platform, the scheduling is done here as well. You can create posts almost virtually from everywhere in the platform. So that's that scheduling component. So the way the content is broken down, it's the content first, whether you create your own, upload your own, or utilize the library, then it's a scheduling component where you can schedule as immediately into the future as many times as you want, um, 
in the platform than the analytics. Unfortunately, mine is zeros across the board because I'm in a complete demo environment and I do not have social media followers on any of these accounts because this is purely just for demonstration purposes. But as you come in here, you can see how your social uh, followers are growing, what your engagement is, and so on. And if you have questions on what any of this means, you can um, hover over it and we do have some really great um, definitions of everything in layman's terms, so to speak. So that's the full circle of the platform itself. But before we close out, we had to spend some time dedicated to doTERRA Social, the app. So let me switch to my phone. And we can dive directly into the platform. I'm sorry, I believe I'm restricted from sharing the phone at this time. So what we'll do is we'll record a separate uh, mobile training that I will upload to the landing page to make sure that everyone is able to see the mobile app. But we do have a mobile app. It is available for Android and iOS devices, and we are um, constantly updating it as well. So we'll be able to make sure that you are um, utilizing this to the absolute fullest and on the go. So as you can see by today's webinar, we've done quite a lot to the platform since we've launched, especially when it comes to adding European content. And even today on the webinar, we have our entire support team um, here to help and chat in Spanish, German, English, Russian, et cetera. So um, that is the Promo Republic team. So if you have any questions at all, you can always contact us and we'll be happy to help through our chat. And you may have seen this in the platform here, ready to go. And our team is always happy to assist. Also, if you prefer to get help on your own, not a problem at all. You can just click on help or search for articles and we have all of this written and recorded on how to get started. So that is a really helpful tip as well. And then we also um, have a lot of resources for you. Um, so we have all of these um, that we want you to save, bookmark and so on. And I'll put this in the chat for everyone. Um, so this is where doTERRA social lives. If you have technical problems, questions, need help with the actual platform of doTERRA social, you can check doTERRA at promorepublic.com or again, contact us via chat. And our landing page, we have evolved that into a really great resource center. And that is get.promorepublic.com slash doTERRA social available in English and in German. And all of the webinars that we have will populate here. We will have the recordings of this all saved here. So we recommend bookmarking this as well. So you're able to always get the latest information from the doTERRA social team for the European market. So we're really excited to have this available. And then we do have our Facebook community. So that is just simply search doTERRA social in the Facebook community and you can join a team of thousands of wellness advocates asking questions on social. So with that, I did want to open it up and invite Alex and Ines back in so we can answer some of the top questions that we've seen come through the platform. Hey Raquel, uh, do you mind showing the pricing uh, tab? So, because yes. we have a lot of people asking. Of course, what a great question. So as mentioned, the doTERRA social um, is free for two weeks upon your sign up. And then after that, this is the pricing plans that we have available for everyone. And this is per year. So doTERRA social is quite literally pennies per day. And this is the difference of really social media channels is the only difference between this. So if I'm new and I'm just starting out on social, that's not a problem. You start off with two social pages. And if I just pop into my calendar quickly, let's say I just have Facebook and Instagram connected, those count as two. 
So since I also have two Pinterest boards here, this is a total of four pages. So going back to pricing, you can see that would put me in this pro category at 31 per year because I have four socials. Um, then you can have six or 15 socials depending on where you are in your uh, doTERRA social journey, whether you have a lot of Facebook groups that you're managing and wanna connect, whether you have um, a lot of Pinterest boards, all of that is different. But the important thing to note is the plan is the same in terms of feature set. So everything I showed you today, as well as the mobile app, which we'll highlight at another time, is all available to you um, when you select your plan. And I hope that answers your questions. Hey, Raquel, um, for existing members, how easy is it for them to upgrade their accounts if they're already signed up? Great question. So if you are already signed up and you want to switch, let's say I started on the starter because I was conservative, but I'm loving it. I'm developing in my doTERRA journey. I can move up to, let's say, six or even 15. Not a problem. We recommend contacting us directly to ensure you're not double billed. So that would be going to the uh, doTERRA at PremaRepublic.com email address, which is right here. So you can take a screenshot of this, or again, I put this in the chat for everyone. Um, and that's the best way to sign up or to upgrade your plan. Thanks, Raquel. And we had some great questions come through. Another question is, um, as you know, a lot of our wellness advocates operate in teams and like to share their access to various platforms across their teams. Is there any way that they can do that with doTERRA Social, or will they all need to sign in with their authenticated individual logins? Really great question. So yes, everyone on the platform will need to have a login and that is again through the doTERRA social ID. However, you'll also notice that they're teammates. So you can have up to two other people assisting because it's three people total per account. So this is really helpful if maybe you are a leader and you have an assistant helping you on social, maybe your husband and wife team, whatever that may be, um, you can have up to two people in the platform as well. Fantastic. And is that through sharing login details or do they configure and allow access to other members once signed into the platform? Great question. So you once you have your own uh, accounts, what you're able to do is go to the settings, scroll down, and you can right here, invite other people into the platform. So I have Roxlana as my teammate. So you can give them specific privileges within that as well. Great, thanks Raquel. Of course. We've had a question around the mobile apps. Um, yes. So um, would you be able just to give an update to the group on the current state of the iOS version versus the Android version via the Google Play Store? Absolutely. So as mentioned, we're working very hard on always improving our product and our mobile app is completely night and day where it is now to where it was previously. Um, so we have the iOS um, fully available and I'm so sorry I couldn't show it today, guys. I was restricted by Zoom, um, but that is the, you can schedule there, you can connect your social media pages, you can filter through the library. So fully utilize it as you do on the desktop, except on the go. Um, and then there are a few differences in our update stages between Android and iOS. So um, on the Android device, um, the filtering, the content library is in progress. Um, editing previously scheduled content is in progress. Um, once like a quick hack between creating content and then going back into the asset manager, um, we're updating that as well. And then your uh, compliance, which is a massive part of the platform, which I completely forgot to highlight. So this completely brings it full circle. Um, that is all here. So with that said, the Android, even though it's a few slight paces behind iOS, is going to be brought up to par and beyond very, very shortly. Our team is working very hard on that. Um, but quickly to highlight what I mean by compliance, which is again, live in mobile, um, is we do have a compliance catcher here. 
So if I'm ever typing a red list word, um, let's say um, this oil cures X, Y, Z, which we know is a no-no, um, and I go to schedule it, oh, this will flag it, should have flagged it, but I believe it was COVID as the ultimate no. Let's pull in some content here. Yep, and here it is. So this is the claim that you review, which is associated with the disease claim, and it brings you directly to doTERRA's compliance policy and instructs you to override this, so or to review this as well. So compliance is a massive piece of the platform, just as a safety net more than anything, um, and that is available both on desktop and mobile. That's great, thank you, Raquel. Mm -hmm. And we have um, more of a technical question here from Danny, um, which I'll just read if that's okay. Sure. I have different email addresses used for my doTERRA login than compared to my Insta login. I've tried connecting, but it says I have no Insta accounts to add, but it's because they are under different email addresses. How can I change that? Great question. So for anything specific to your personal account, we recommend reaching out immediately to our support team and they'll assist. And that's because obviously we don't want you sharing your emails on a live webinar in front of, let's see, over 478 people. Um, but what is helpful there is Instagram business has a lot of restrictions just in the nature of how that's set up. So if you can't connect it, typically that's because maybe the Instagram business page um, is not set up to um, a, or connected to a business page. Maybe it's in a creator mode versus business mode. So there's a lot of nuances that go with Instagram connectivity, but the good news is having different email addresses does not play a role whatsoever in that my Facebook email is different than my doTERRA email, which is different than everything. So that is not a problem because you're going off of the connection of your account, not to doTERRA specifically. Great, thank you for that. Mm -hmm. And would you be able just to cover the use on fonts? We had a question regarding um, one of our members trying to use their own font. They, they associate with their own branding, but they're not able to use that font. Uh, could you just cover that area for us, please? Yeah. So at this time, you cannot upload your own fonts, um, but we are planning a massive um, update to our graphics editor and capabilities later this quarter. So while you're on your doTERRA journey with us on doTERRA social, you'll notice a lot of updates because we take pride in listening to your feedback and making these changes. So just because it's a not right now doesn't mean it's not going to happen in a few months. So thank you for that. Um, and we're really excited to show you what we come up with in a few months. Thank you, Raquel. Uh -huh. And we've had one question regarding WhatsApp. Would you be able just to demonstrate again how you can still share content via the various uh, platforms through uh, the share tool? Yes. So unfortunately, again, I'm unable to share my phone, which is really heartbreaking. Um, but it's really easy to share not only to WhatsApp, to Telegram, to Messenger, to whatever apps you work in and operate your business in. All you have to do is go to the doTERRA social mobile app and click share, and then we will um, highlight that. And as mentioned, we're gonna record a part two to this where we can have uh, the mobile overview and share that and put that on the landing page so you can see all the really great ways. Not only can you share to the top six socials that we support, but the socials beyond. Great, thank you. Mm -hmm. And then could you just quickly go through the various team member levels that you can add um, and the level of access that they each have? Sure. Um, so the best way to, to go into that is actually to go into the help center um, and learn about it because there's just small nuances between each member level. So the, what we can do is just quickly go here and see it. So. These are the different roles. The client role, so to speak, is the most restricted. 
typically we see that if we are collaborating that people invite their teammates as members because they don't want the ability for them to change their admin um, settings. If you're okay with that, definitely go in admin mode, but yes, it is admin or member that we typically see the most. Thank you. Inesh, any questions raised from your side that you'd like to cover? Sorry, I'm just trying to answer questions here on the chat. Um, no, I think it was a good overview. I think we we do have still a few uh, questions. Uh, as Raquel said, the, the customer service is uh, ready to help. And also uh, your MDMs should be able to help you as well. Um, and uh, as we said in the beginning, we have launched the, at the moment the platform in English and German uh, due to the demand. But uh, if there's more demand for other markets, we're we'll looking to wait. I know this is a big question for everyone. Um, and so definitely we, we want to reach as many people as we want, as we can. Um, so if you are in a market and there's demand, uh, just let us know. Uh, you can always tell your MDM. Uh, um, also, if you start seeing a lot of people on your team that they want to join. Uh, so yeah, please let us know and, and we'll look into it for sure. So this is uh, this is just the start. <laughs> Let's say it like that. Uh, but yeah, that's all from my side. Thank you, Alex. Thanks, Inej. And did you just want to reiterate for the group the languages the navigation is already available in? Absolutely. So that is again, you go to your settings, go to the top here, and you can see all the languages that we have. So German, English, Spanish, French, Italian, Russian, and Ukrainian. And just in case anyone was wondering, if you're in, um, let's say, the Russian or Eastern European market and you work also on um, VK and OK, which are the top social media channels there, we do support those as well. So when you change and connect your pages, um, that would automatically populate. Thanks, Raquel. So in addition to the navigation languages, again, um, I know it will be helpful for the group. We've had some great questions come through. Uh, naturally, a lot of requests for the suggested copy that you've seen that we currently provide in English and German. We will definitely be looking in the future to accommodate. I'm seeing Romanian, Dutch, you know, various requests for languages. Uh, but we hope that the key features and the simple navigation of the platform in the meantime will really help um, for those of you that do feel comfortable in English and to utilize the editor tool to translate those posts into your localized language. We really hope that in the meantime, you can enjoy the platform uh, and make the most of all of the content and the correct Europe product imagery and all of those exciting features that we've included and shared with you today. Thank you very much again, Raquel, for a great presentation. Thank you, Inej, for all the hard work that you've put in with, with Raquel's team uh, and our team at doTERRA Europe. It's really appreciated. But more importantly, thank you to everyone that's attended uh, we really hope that this helps you to continue to build your businesses and please, please, please continue to give your feedback. And on that note, Raquel, um, if anyone still has immediate questions that they need to ask, um, what's the best way to go about doing that? Yeah, so please contact us directly via the chat um, on the platform in your accounts. Again, that's in the bottom um, right hand corner here. Um, or you can email us directly at doTERRA at romorepublic.com. And again, all of our information is in the chat, uh, chat box on Zoom. So feel free to contact us directly. Just to add that this webinar is going to be available on the Terra Europe YouTube channel. So if you want to rewatch it, please go there. Thank you. Thank you, Inez. Thanks, Raquel. And thank you, everybody. We hope you have a wonderful evening in Europe. Take care and we will see you all soon. Thanks, guys.